I'm Johnny Scoville. Ha! This is Chase the Heat. This is a good one. Uh, and it's a blooper. I just got tongue-tied. I never do bloopers. I do one take. Ask anybody that works with me. It's one take and one take only. You can tell already. If you're new to the channel, you can tell it's a one take kind of a show. Raw. All right. So, uh, Pepper Poppers. Pepper Poppers. Send me some peppers. Ethan and his wife. Thank you, guys. Um, and then Uncle Bull Cow also sent me some pods. So, this is what happens with pod season. It's kind of an interesting thing. You know, pods are plentiful. Then they'll just dry up and stops just like that. And then just like that, all of a sudden it's pod season again. So, so many peppers, so little time. So, today I'm going to be reviewing two absolutely legendary peppers. We've got um, a Carolina Reaper chocolate. And I've got a seven pot primer. Here is the Carolina Reaper chocolate. Look at that tail on that little monster. Brutal, isn't it? Nasty little pepper. Uh, and that's from uh, Pepper Poppers. Pepper Poppers. Here is the seven pot uh, chocolate seven pot primo. And this is from uh, Uncle Bull Cow. All right. So I'm going to, uh, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to eat that little one first. No, you know, you can't ever let the size of a pepper fool you. It matters not. I mean, obviously, if this same heat pepper is in a pepper this big, it would be worse. But small doesn't mean they're not going to hurt you. Here's the interior of the Chocolate Carolina Reaper. Okay. Now, before I eat these, chocolate pods are interesting because, first of all, they don't taste like chocolate. I, they used to almost make me throw up because just the flavor of them. And I've kind of evolved over the many years of doing this. And I have have a thing now for chocolate peppers. Even in the beginning, I, I had a love-hate relationship with them. I hated the taste, but I loved the burn. If you eat pods, you'll find out that chocolate pods have a very different burn than red pods. They just do. It's sinister. It really is. So, uh, Pepper Poppers, thank you guys for this chocolate Carolina Reaper. Let's do a taste and heat comparison. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. perfect example of a pepper that would have just killed me when I started the channel. It's very, very hot. It's a chocolate Carolina Reaper, right? So it's super, super hot, but it had, it was, floral notes back in the day used to make me sick. Now if it's floral coupled with, I can take floral. Floral with bitter is amazing. Those two flavors together work really good. This one was um, floral up front, bitter at the end. The flavors, all those flavors now have dissipated. That's what happens. The flavors you get up front dissipate really quickly. They're just left with the flavor of the pepper. So right now the floral notes are gone. The bitterness is gone. And I'm left with just the heat. Um, it's attacking my throat. This is a very interesting thing. These two peppers in particular. I've had a few other peppers do it. But Reapers and Seven Pot Primos. When you eat them, it's, it, it's like your mouth doesn't burn. It's almost like somehow when you chew it up, you didn't, you chewed up in your throat somehow and you bypassed your mouth. My mouth has no burning at all right now. Now my throat's burning. Um, for the heat on this one, because we're doing a heat and taste comparison, the heat on this, um, it's hot. Here, it's, it's a hot pepper. I mean, for if a, somebody who's not accustomed to chilies ate this, it would be panic load. It would be an event you would never forget. If you lived to be 100 on your last day, if they said, hey, remember that time you ate that pepper? You'd be like, yeah, I remember. So you wouldn't forget it. Um, if you're a chili head, this is between a... Eight, eight and up out of 10, if you're somebody who really likes hot stuff. So about eight, between an eight and a 10. The reason I say that, I can see somebody who's a real chili head saying, ah, it's, a, it's an eight. I can almost see someone saying it's a seven, if they're really hardcore. Bizzle would say it's a seven. Um, but, um, Bizzle, you know what I'm talking to. Um, but I can see somebody that still says they're a chili head that would say it's a 10 to them. So anywhere from 
if you're a real hardcore chili head, anywhere from a seven on the upper end to 10. So, so now we're gonna eat the uh, seven pot primo. This one is significantly more oily than the first one. Look at how the wall lining is just glistening on that. Those are capsaicin oils, okay? Real quick crash course in a pepper. Let me show you what's going on here. That is a pepper growing inside a pepper. The spongy part down here is called the placenta. There's no heat in the seeds. It's a funny thing. They're such a misconception about seeds. They're not hot. I did a uh, video with my son, maybe six months ago, eight months ago, where we had primatale seeds, 20 each. We had them washed in a saline solution to get all the pepper product off the outside. So there was no pepper mater material on the outside. And uh, we each ate 20. And it had a nutty flavor. There was no bitterness. It was kind of nutty, but there was zero heat. So there's no heat in seeds. So here is, you can see on both sides, that little green thing in the corner, that's a baby little pepper growing within a pepper. Kind of a cool thing. Pretty common in, in bell peppers. All right, seven pot primo. Those peppers couldn't have tasted more different. I didn't really get any smoky notes on the Reaper, but I got smoky notes, like a little smokiness uh, when I bit the, when I chewed up the uh, the seven pot, the chocolate seven pot. In addition, a very odd thing, the first thing that I noticed when I bit the seven pot chocolate is that there was a sweet a, a bit of sweetness to it. Now, sweetness in super hots is an unusual thing. Sweetness in a chocolate soup pot is a really unusual thing, but there was a sweetness to that. Now, excuse me, the sweetness, it was, um, there was very little floral. There was a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of sweetness to it. Sweetness up front, and then the tail end, there's a little bit of bitterness. It tasted very good. Chocolate pods have a very, very interesting flavor. It's an acquired taste, I will tell you that. I didn't, you know, I didn't used to like them. I used to hate them. Um, the heat, I would say they're about, here's the thing. I'm going to give the edge in heat to the seven, to the Primo because it was a much bigger pod. There was more pepper. There was more than what I would have expected from a second pod as far as the increase in heat from the first. It was, it was substantially more than I expected. So I'm gonna give the edge to the seven pot uh, Primo chocolate. Now, I will say this though, to be fair to uh, Pepper Poppers and to be fair to the Carolina Reaper, if that chocolate Reaper was the exact same size of the seven pot chocolate uh, Reaper, uh, Primo I mean, uh, if they were the same size, I think the heat probably would have been pretty close. I don't know, my throat is really burning now. I'm definitely going to give the edge to the seven pot primo because the jump what I was expecting was much higher than I was anticipating. I've done this for a long time. Like Gandalf the white of the pepper community. Um, the heat, it's going to be an eight to a 10 for a chili head. It would be a problem for somebody who's not a chili head. Um, my scale doesn't matter because I'm broken. With both of them, I'm at a three. I'm being a little bit generous. I've been hitting it pretty hard lately. Tolerances rise quickly, but they fall quicker. And right now my tolerance is relatively high. It's gonna be a great day today. What are you gonna do with it? You know what I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna make some more videos. Got some amazing stuff we're doing at the office. Ooh, some very cool stuff we're doing at the office. But um, I have a bunch of peppers, so I'll probably be eating a pepper at the office this afternoon. You know what else I have though? Let me know in the comment section if you wanna see me eat this. I this is the one from 20, what year is this? 21. Okay, I, the one I did today was from 2022. This one's from 2021, or the one I did yesterday. If you wanna see me do this one uh, today instead of a pepper, let me know. 
pepper is just gonna be better. It's gonna be hotter, better tasting. But if you wanna see me do this, let me know. Let's make it a great day. Uh, in the description box, you're gonna see a link um, for Instagram for pepper poppers. Pretty cool. Uh, you're gonna see a link for Uncle Bull Cow, the man responsible for some of my most painful cap cramps ever. He sent me this. When you see this on a challenge, it sucks. It's gonna taste good, but it's gonna hurt. So, bull cow and pepper poppers in the, in the description box. Let's make it a great day. Right there is the pepper. Click the pepper. We're doing this together. Um, if you don't wanna miss a video, don't. Click the bell for notification. Um, if you, if you want to catch some stuff over and above what you normally see, like aftermaths, uh, you're not going to ever see aftermath on this channel. But if you get a bus pass, you can. I do aftermaths on the bus pass. So. Um, hit the tab that says join. It's four dollars and ninety nine cents right there. Is Tommy Scoville's channel, my brother's channel, about um, recovery, uh, living a victorious, happy life, beating addiction. I did. So if you or somebody you know has some sort of an issue, please check that out. It's the lifeboat. Right there, more videos. I'm Johnny Scoville on this. This was Chase the Heat.